Today, our presentation is the effects of multiplying or dividing numbers by the powers of 10. I have a problem written out here, 23 times 10. That is 23 taking 10 times, and I've laid out my beats accordingly. 23 taking one time, 23, two times, 23, three times, 23, four times, 23, five times, 23, six times, 23, seven times, 23, eight times, 23, nine times, 23, 10 times. So on the board, I have the problem laid out. So let's put all our bits together and see what product we are going to have. So in putting all the quantities together, we can see that we are having a, pro a product of 230. So 23 times 10 equals 230. Now let's do another problem. Suppose I have this one. 2 and 3 tenths taking 10 times. 2 and 3 tenths times 10. Let's put our quantities on the board. So, we have our problems laid out here in quantities on the decimal board. 2 and 3 tenths taking 10 times. 2 and 3 tenths, 1 time, 2 and 3 tenths, 2 times, 2 and 3 tenths. 4 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 5 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 6 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 7 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 8 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 9 times, 2 and 3 tenths, 10 times. So we have our problem right there on the board. So now let's put all these quantities together now and see the product we are going to have. So in putting all the quantities together, we are ending up with a product of 23 on the board. We have written that here. 2 and 3 tenths equals 23. I have also written that here. 2 and 3 tenths equals 23. Now I want us to do another problem which I have written out here. 23 hundredths taking 10 times. I've written the same problem on here. 23 hundredths taking 10 times. So let's now go ahead and lay out our problems on our, lay out this particular problem on our decimal board with our quantities. So right there on the board, we have our quantities laid out. 23 hundredths taking 10 times. 23 hundred one time, one time, 2300, two times, 2300, three times, 2300, four times, 2300, five times, 2300, six times, 2300, seven times, 2300, eight times, 2300, nine times, 2300, ten times. So now let's put all these quantities together and see the product we are going to have. So we can see that we are ending up with a product of 2 and 3 tenths. So we see that 23 hundredths taking 10 times, so 23 hundredths times 10 equals 2 and 3 tenths. 2 and 3 tenths. Suppose I have this problem. 23 thousandths, and I take that 10 times. So let's go ahead and lay our quantities on our decimal board and find a product. So we see right there on the board our problem laid out in quantities 23 thousandths times 10. So we see there 23 thousand one time. 23,000 two times, 23,000 three, th three times, 23,000 four times, 23,000 
five times, 23,000, six times, 23,000, seven times, 23,000, eight times, 23,000, nine times, nine times, 23,000, ten times. So 23,000 times 10. Go ahead, put your quantities together and get the product. And if you do that, you discover that the answer is 23 hundredths. So this will be your answer. So 23 thousands times 10 equals 23 hundredths. Now, what do you notice about these problems we have here? In the past, when multiplying by 10, multiply the whole number by 10, we said that all we need to do is to add a zero to our answer. For instance, if we were to uh, uh, do this problem four times 10, all we need to do is to add zero to four and we'll have 40. Now, is that what is happening here? Let's look closely. We notice that that is not the case. Here in these problems, it has to do more with the decimal point. Look at it. Here we have the decimal 2 and 3 tenths times 10. What do we notice here? The decimal point has moved to the right one time. And look at in this problem, 23 hundredths times 10. Look at the answer. What do we notice? The decimal point has moved again. So we have 2 and 3 tenths. Here, the decimal point moved to the right just one time. And we are having 23 as the answer here. Let's look at here where we have 23 thousands. Multiply that by 10. What do we notice? The decimal point has moved again to the right just one time and we see here we are having 23 hundredths. Even here, the first problem where we have 23 multiplied by 10, we are having 230. We can say we have a decimal point here at the back of 23. So if we multiply that by 10, as we have done here, we find that the decimal point moves to the right just one time. And we are having a product of 230. What do you think will happen if we were to multiply a number by 100? What do you think will happen I'm sure you can figure that out. How many zeros do we have in 100? We have two zeros, don't we? Therefore, I'm sure we, we have figured it out that the decimal point would move two places to the right. So, if, for instance, I take this problem 2, and and I'm multiplying that by 10 no by 100 what did I say will happen we have two zeros so the decimal point is expected to move to the right how many places two places so we have here and then it will have here. So what are we going to have? We are going to have remember one place so we can see that for multiplying numbers by a power of 10 if you multiply a number by a power of 10, or a power of 10, you will move the decimal point to the right as many places as there are zeros. 
in the multiplier and placing zeros if necessary. So go ahead and create problems based on this rule that for multiplying numbers by a power of 10, if you multiply a number by a power of 10, you will move the decimal point to the right as many places as there are zeros in the multiplier and placing zeros if necessary. Just like we did here, the decimal point had to move two times or two places to the right because we have two zeros here. So we had to add another zero. So you can go ahead and create problems this way and multiply that by powers of 10 and let's see your products.